Hi, welcome to the shop. I'm just playing around with a couple of planes I have, um, the 50 I've had for a while, and it's a good functional little plow plane. But I just got this uh, record, um, 040, and um, it's an interesting little plane. And so I've been trying to compare it to the 50 and see how I like that one. Um, the 50 is interesting because it's more uh, typical of the, the way Stanley designed their planes, their plow planes with this handle grip up here. Um, and this works pretty well. You see I did two grooves right next to each other. But um, this is a smaller plane by far. Um, and this is an interesting one because uh, Record made this one with only one shaft coming out for the fence. The 043 has two shafts coming out. And um, that I may make a small difference. Um, this is a plane that you have to get used to. It's not... Uh, it's not uh, as comfortable at first as the, the 50 and what we're used to, but let's talk more about that. First, I want to show you some things about this, uh, this 50. It has a, a depth adjuster, which the uh, record doesn't have, so you can uh, move the iron back and forth. But the funny thing is that in order to do that, you have to loosen this wing nut here, which looses this uh, this structure here, which gives you a little bit of slop in the iron. And um, I don't find it too terribly easy to adjust the iron in and out um, once it's loose. So there's a, there's a certain spacing that you need just to just let, let it off. Um, and, then, and then you're able to adjust this I don't think as finely as as you you should be able to, um, uh, but it, it does function right, um, and it it uh, cuts uh, well. And like I said, it's it's uh, typical of uh, this sort of Stanley and other plow companies that made plow planes. The handle grip. It also comes up with a great many more cutters. Uh, then certainly this record will hold and um, so this this plane will do more than this one but that's neither here nor there if you're just wanting to put in a quarter inch or smaller groove in either a, a little box for a drawer bottom um, or, or uh, something where even you wanted to do a tongue and groove thing you could do the two grooves on each side and and do the center one um, so let's talk about this. Uh, this is the uh, the record zero four zero. It has depth stop on this side here. It uh, has a center skate where the iron sits behind it, and uh, you can use other irons from either a Luban or another record, or even from the Stanley fifty, and it will work on this. Uh, just the grooving ones, not the more complicated ones where you need support on each side of the iron. But it's, this is a very simple plane. And um, this is a simple lever that uses pressure this way to keep your iron in place. And you loosen this and you move this iron by hand. There's not the adjuster like on the 50. But frankly, uh, I don't think the adjuster on the 50 works that well. So... Uh, I'm not sold on that. Now, this is really interesting because it doesn't have that handle like the 50 up there. It has this little palm spot here. Now, if you use this, let's say, without this fence against something else, you're going to have to put your finger somewhere. And I think that this indentation here is meant for you to put your finger there. But I do find the shaving comes up through here and uh, and my finger gets in the way of it. But when using the fence, if you keep your hand out here, the shaving shoots right up through here fairly well, so I like that. Now, this is just a little maple uh, fence added to the uh, original fence um, and then stained dark. Um, this has a flat top surface here 
to uh, to tighten the wing nut onto to keep this from moving. Um, you really have to put quite a bit of tension on that to get this to uh, not pivot a little bit when you're really planing and exerting some force. But that's not terrible either. Um, on the far side, you can see, see the little bit of movement there. Um, not terrible, but um, you don't want that swinging around too much. Here's your depth stop adjuster. And this one has a slotted screw in it, so you could really tighten it down a lot, but I haven't had found the need for that at all. Um, and so it's a very simple plane. And um, this is uh, uh, available, this plane style is available now from Luban, and, uh, which is a Quang Cheng, I think, uh, product. And then um, also uh, Record makes the 4.3, uh, the, uh, which has the two rods instead of the one to support the fence. Let's see how it works. So this plane is uh, only five and, a, five, five and a half inches long without the fence. The fence is adding about an inch. Um, it's a nice small kind of a pocket type thing. You could probably pull this out and, and stick it in your apron for when you want to use it. And I'm doing just a, a 3 16 inch cutter here. And, um, and it's, if you keep your finger up in that little spot there, um, the shaving is really missing the finger pretty well. And that's not, that's not too bad. It's not uncomfortable. But my preference is to put my thumb outside of the fence and then run it. But you can see I'm getting nice shavings. And um, I've done two, one right next to each other here. And this one has been done with the record. And this one has been done with the 50. So um, the 50, you can see, works very well too. That's a quarter inch groove that I'm putting in. They both work fine. I'm not seeing any kind of uh, advantage to one to the other, but this is nice that it's small and um, it will put in a groove as deep as, actually I could take this fence off and probably get this all the way up to a half inch depth groove here. Not that anybody would need any groove to be that deep, but uh, if you're doing like a little box or drawer, um, so let's, let's look at this instead of on the edge, we'll try it on the face and we'll see how that does as well. So the 50 works very well. Um, but we knew that, you know, the nice thing is you can keep your hand out here and the handle is very comfortable, and uh, I feel like the pushing direction and everything is fine, giving me a good cut. Now, I have a little bit of a knot down here, so that's, uh, that's giving me a little issue, but uh, let's see how this one here is, and this is where I was talking about putting your thumb right in here. This, uh, rather than holding it like that, like a fist... You keep a finger out if you want, but it's more comfortable to me to keep one in. This one here, you're using your palm this way. And um, so where you put your finger here, um, we'll try it up here first and we'll see how that is. It works fine. Um, I'm keeping it there. Now on the outside, if I move my finger out here, It works all right too. Um, it's it really is more comfortable kind of holding it in tighter like that, because um, that way this hand can stay on the fence and make sure that you're not tweaking it that way. And um, you can see it's giving us nice, strong shavings and a clean groove. So. It's an interesting, cute little plane that is fully functional for small grooves. Um, 
if you're doing a lot of jewelry boxes and stuff like that or any kind of drawers where you need a groove for the bottom to go in um, just like this this is really kind of ideal because you really don't need um, much more than that you could do it on a table saw of course you could use a router you could um, you could use the 50 or the larger plow planes the 45 or something um, I think that I would prefer to have the 043 instead of the 040 um, this is an older one it's got the blue record paint it's starting to wear off I don't know if that was originally enamel, probably enameled rather than uh, japanned but um, but it, it uh, like I say functions Kind of rather superbly so um not a bad little plane to keep around and like i say you can easily take this off um and take this off and put it you can see how small it is there and put it into your shop apron and uh and just kind of carry it around when you want to use it so there you have it a nice little uh comparison kind of um a good little plane so there it is. It's a good little plane. Um, the 50 is also a good plane. Um, there's older versions, newer versions of it. It certainly has more cutters, and I'm not suggesting that you should buy that instead of this. I'm just suggesting that that will do the quarter inch and three sixteenths and one and one sixteenth, the smaller grooves in your smaller projects uh, very easily and nicely. And... Um, and it's a fun little plane to operate. So I wouldn't discount it if you uh, have a small little shop and uh, you don't need uh, all these different extra cutters and things like that. It's a, a handy, handy little plane. So uh, I like it. I think I'll wind up keeping it. Originally, I wasn't going to. I think I'll still look for the 4.3 uh, the with the double rods. And uh, maybe then I'll sell this one for it. Um, but, uh, but it's interesting and it's cute and I, I, I like the feel of it and I think it's kind of fun to use. So that's it. Thanks for coming to the shop. A tiny little uh, video, just a short little video to introduce you guys to this plane in case some of you hadn't seen it. Um, I'd been seeing it for quite a while and I finally was able to find one that was affordable. Um, they're not very pricey. Um, and like I say, you can buy the Luban ones if you can get them in the United States. I know they're available in England and other countries, but they're kind of hard to find in the United States. And uh, I, they're a, <coughs> I'm designed after this, but I think they're a little bigger. So um, keep an eye out for them. Um, it's not a toy. It's a, it's a really nice little plane. Again, thanks for coming to the shop and hope to see you all soon again. Take care. Till then.